Hey guys, crew, long way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we are back with Batwoman. We're previously Candy. Can candy lady. Oh, the candy lady. Yeah. yeah, the jelly bean lady. Yeah, I was gonna be like, I want candy. I want candy. We had uh, Ryan uh, kind of covering some previous history with uh, Angelique and how she met her. Right, and how um, she saved her. How Angelique, Angelique saved, saved her, yeah, with Ryan. her slingshot and stuff, though she fell into some bad stuff too, and we know that because Victor Zaz knew who she was. And, yeah, so um, we're not too sure about Angelique's story. She also worked with Ocean in some way or fashion, uh, which Alice is after Ocean to kill him, supposedly, for Sophia. Um, and she also had some kind of weird flash thing. Yeah, of remembering Ocean, yeah. like a love interest or something. Something like that, which was the subject of our poll. Um, what do you think the origin of Alice's flashback is? We had 11% say something else. 21% said it's Sophia altering Alice's memories. 22% said it is related to crisis. And 43% said it's Alice repressing her own memories. Very possible. <laughs> um... Brandon says, I think it's crisis because in the Alice's flashback, her hair was not white like Alice's hair, right. but more like Alice Beth's hair from Crisis, which is true, which is one of the reasons why I kind of thought about a little bit of Crisis, just that hair difference. But maybe she only dyed her hair after she named herself Alice, you know, to be more like Alice in Wonderland. Maybe. I don't know. Well, through the looking glass. Uh, Spencer say, I say it's a repressed memory. I doubt they would they would have waited until now to make it crisis related. Mm, maybe. Well, I mean, we've had the other Beth, and that was l the second half of Batwoman, so that was later on in the season, so it wouldn't be too far apart. Not really, and it's the the effects of crisis can still be showing. I mean, we'll be seeing some crisis things as it goes on, with it all being on one Earth, you know, I like hope so. I hope that they make reference to it instead of just going on like nothing happened. Well, Joel says, I want to say crisis, but part of me is worried that they're moving away from crossovers and references until COVID ends, going to go with Sophia affecting her memories because of that. Oh. So, and that's more a of a meta point. standpoint, yeah. um, they could be avoiding more of the crossover kind of events because of that. Mm, rubid, rubidium Moon says, I think it makes more sense for this to be one of Alice's personal memories that she has repressed. Maybe Sophia suppressed it for her. Hmm. Um, and then Hunter says, I don't know. That is all. <laughs> so, weird flashbacks that we don't understand what it's about, but uh, we hopefully will be getting some answers for that. The damn bullet. <laughs> I want, oh, yeah, the bullet wound. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what's going on with that bullet wound that she's got because it keeps popping up, but they haven't done a thing about it. So, I know. let's see what happens this time. Ooh. Whoa. That was like Spider Man ish. There's like arrow stuff here. You walk into the ghost town, grab that name here, and ask me for a refund. Oh! Oh, God. Who are you? The gardener? You're gonna tell Sophia to give my daughter back. Just shoot him! Oh! Ryan? You got your life together. That's all I wanted. Hey, what is this? It's a hey, work injury. We're addressing it, a kind of. Corkscrew? Look at that thing. Ryan? You need to get that looked up. It's kind of cute. You look what did you do last night that she didn't see that? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> giving you an antibiotic, so it's... Oh, good. Infection. Well, it might have turned necrotic if you had waited any longer. Necrotic. Don't look. Ah! Are you sure you're Thanks. not having any other symptoms that you're not telling me about? Ah! <laughs> now you can look. Are you a little more tired than normal? A likely member of the collective who might cooperate. Why is the collective sound Commander, you're underselling our entire yeah. origin story. Katie Kane saved my life. Really? Gotham Prep. What's it's his eighth name grade in the winter formal is a multiverse shattering crisis because I'm straight. I am not going to grovel at her feet. Let me do it. Or at least ask nicely. 
Because Alice will do a lot worse than grovel to find Kate before we do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like flashback memories. <laughs> Burnside Motel. We all saw that. Give me more. <laughs> what happens after? Hey, that's ocean. It's the fastest I've ever seen him take a hit. Can I join you? In case he decides to try it again. Look, I don't know where you got this idea that all crows are bastards, but some of us are trying to make a difference. Well, in my experience, when the crows fly together, they call it a murder for a reason. Ooh. <laughs> that's a good point. And I need your help to get her back. Hey, she just had found the love of her life. Oh! Ah! Okay. What's that? Where'd I, it go? I, I, I don't know. Like, he had, like, slits, like, gills. I bet you it's Evan Blake. But the crows have tried to ruin my life for fun. I'm not helping them. <sighs> she really hates the crows. Would you do that? No! <laughs> hey, a parachute? What if I fall? It's not even far for a parachute. I die! The painting gives us the Coriana. Is it a map? Uh oh. Wait, you gotta. Does he have he has cyanide? A tooth time? cyanide pill? Are you kidding me? Let's get him down. Too late. Too late. He took that long to bite it? And I want you directly in charge of any crows assigned to this mission. This is a one-off. We're not partners. Come on, be partners. Right there, she's probably like, uh, this has to be Ryan. <laughs> I want to see them be friends. Hey, can I ask you something? Have we met somewhere before? I think I remember you. And she's not all cuckoo crazy loco. She's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, now here comes a cuckoo crazy loco. I think she feels better that he does not remember her. <laughs> Boom! He remembered! Oh. He knew. He lied. Oh. Sophia. Although her obedient island followers call her queen. Not me. Mom? I called her sister. Oh. oh. Well, damn. Okay. Mom? You thought it was mom? I don't know. She didn't look that old, did she? E like maybe the magical flower. Keeps yeah, exactly. Young and yeah, yeah, yep. Fertile. Whoa, look at that. She's ready to go to some kind of fancy Wait, are thing. You? Wait, I'm just supposed to talk my way inside. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Do you think Mary had all the accessories? Ah, look what I've got. Oh. What party favors was he talking about? Drugs. Oh. Ah! That you weren't lying. The double the needles for the snake bite. Yeah, I hate that. It's so. I hate it. I, I don't. It's the worst drug in the world. Is that an old you computer screen? Is that, is that on? Together? I ran into an ex. Oh. Okay. Well, I hope he's not going to be drama. She. In all ways. Don't <laughs> say that. I would give as little information as I could. No! What is she? <laughs> Think about he all you want. That's fine. Oh, there it is. I'm good with option A. Oh. Why, we both know this isn't about a stupid flower. And what do you think it's about? Me having the one thing you can't. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. I think it's crisis related. I don't know. What the hell is that? We'll monitor from here. Oh. Wait. Okay, so is this him or is it someone else? It has to be someone else because he's already. If I don't see him, I'm thinking it's him still. Hurry up! Hurry up! Where is he? Where is he, Melanie? Who is he? No, oh, where is he? It's Evan. Didn't talk. Ooh, what a flip. Nice. Shooting at his feet. I know it was very. Did you see now. him? Like, 
Maybe Damn it. to avoid the art. Oh, oh! Oh, uh, it broke the painting. Or the, the thing it's in. Dude, what did you do? Oh, check. no, he's there for the painting. Target acquired. Moore wants the painting. Not an excessive force headline. Let's go. Uh, Is she running over him? Is she gonna get the excessive force credit? Feels bad because of crows. Yep. Evan. Evan. Jeez. Evan's doing There she is with the blood and the people and the coming and the... I should remember you. The fact that we both have the same memories makes me think that Sophia did something to get us to forget. Mm -hmm. You think Sophia erased our memory? That was one of our options. Yeah. Them. How? The thing is, we might never know. I don't know, magic flower. I got me loose. I can't trust you. You don't trust me to defend myself from murder? <laughs> I love uh, her I like so her. much. I like her a lot. <laughs> Where's the ocean? Hey. Surprise. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Badges of the crows who did this. That's not enough. Burn it all down, girl. The whole thing. Can't Burn do it that. all down. There's not. You I can't say they're all bad. The just An they need to clean it up. That decides what justice is based on who can pay the most money. I was stealing it for Kate. Mm, was he stealing it for Kate for them? I thought I had a better chance of grabbing it than the crows. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. If it turns out nobody actually got the Napier painting, it was a forgery. That's impossible. What? That woman took a sample of your. Are we finally gonna get some kind of combination with this thing? It looks like it's growing more, doesn't it? Look at that. Dude, her arm's gonna fall off. Look at how bad that looks from the in, uh, outside the bandage. They're gonna have to call Supergirl. Tell Luke the truth. <laughs> okay, Genie. Hey, I'm back there. So every time they touch, they remember. They remember them touching. That's he the painting. He has the painting. Who's this? You ever hear of a guy called Jack Napier? Oh my gosh. How to get to Coriana? They know. They know how to get to Coriana. No, wait. They're not good. All right. So if we have them with the Napier and they can figure out how to get to Coriana is what they're misremembering gonna change Alice to where she doesn't want to kill Kate or is it still leave Kate in danger you know what I mean like could you have mm. the option where if, if there's some kind of romantic interest here and love interest here and they remember who they were maybe that changes Alice a little bit from who she is or she remembers who she was like, Maybe. what if Sophia turned her more so into what she is now? Well, I definitely agree with that. She started out with brown hair, and now she's, like, all crazy eye with blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, Coriana could have been kind of the turning point of making her more assassin-y crazy. I mean, she already had that dark history to begin right. with, right? Which I can see where everything kind of stems from. But if there's a middle point in there where maybe she could have been more normal, but Sophia, like suppressed certain aspects of her to make her more assassiny. You know, if that's yeah. like what she needed. Like what what's the reason of letting an outsider in? Well, if the I idea mean, is no outsiders, you know? Kinda like Tatiana, you know, and was it last episode or the episode before? Yeah. She just seemed very robotic. Yeah. Like just has to follow rules, I follow rules, you said kill her, I kill her, type thing. She so. said oh. <laughs> Yeah. So maybe they do suppress like memories and everything just to make better assassins. So I, I'm kind of on the same page with you there. Maybe that's why she wanted Ocean killed because she knew that he had the painting. Maybe, depends on how long he's had that painting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 
We also have the wolf spider. Which, is he actually a bad guy? Well, no, I don't think so. Um, so in the very beginning here, they, when they called him the wolf spider, right after the title. Mm-hmm. Now, so see, and in the very beginning, watch the big bright blue light because I was wondering about it. Like whatever this big blue light is up here, I think is what he changed at the top of this building. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's an emoji. See, it's a blue face. Oh, rolling his eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that whole I didn't thing. I catch that. Well, I saw the light, but I didn't see what it was. And then, like, I kind of heard and misheard what uh, Vesper, Vesper was saying, saying there. Um, but, yeah, no, he he got up there and did that. Like, the, the art prankster thing. So, I don't necessarily think he's bad. And he was also stealing that for Kate, he said. Yeah, I know. So he might have been stealing it and going to give it to the crows or to Jacob, Jacob. and uh, Sophie, maybe. I don't know. Or try to find Kate on his own. I don't know. But the ideas tossed around of, like, not wearing spandex and other things to mm -hmm. wear kind of makes me think that maybe... Is he going to team up with it? Maybe they could alter some things, and he might be someone that can help. I'm not familiar with the character at all, so I don't know if he's from comics before, if he's... Um, someone new like Ryan is mm -hmm. or what but but we did see him fight he was taking on Batwoman pretty yeah. well and he it was a lot cool of fun stuff, yeah. it was very acrobatic um, very flippy <laughs> so it was so much fun like he did one like hip hop move like jumped up on one hand threw his feet up in the air like it was really hip fun watching him like dance and whatnot. yeah so I would be very happy to see him in further future episodes. So, yeah, that could be a possibility. We'll have to see. I mean, I don't know what to expect from him, uh, from Angelique, um, those two specifically. Yeah. I don't know what exactly to expect either, I guess, out of Ocean. True. Like, those are three characters that we've been introduced to that maybe aren't all bad, you know, or we don't know exactly what Angelique is into. We know her and Evan both are involved with this collective society place with these crimes and whatnot so i don't know i don't know they could just be kind of there they mm -hmm. could be bad they may be more on the good side it really depends i think on angelique and ryan and what how much they care for each other as to what's going to happen there yeah i definitely think angelique is not on the anti-hero <laughs> like she's not a good person well she also um didn't seem to be against batwoman she was against the sound of Batwoman teaming up with the crows. She, she sounds like she's anti-crow, but not anti-Batwoman. Yeah, so it might I not mean that. that she is against Batwoman and against things that are good, but that she's just, like, making her money through a few nefarious options, you know? <laughs> yeah, dealing the snake bite at an illegal auction. <laughs> like, sure, but sh we don't know that she's killed anybody bodies or, with zazz yeah <laughs> like, she's not murdering people or nothing but no. i don't know we'll have to see i don't know i don't know um with that we also got more information on why ryan was arrested because she said about the drugs not being hers i don't think she said that they were planted i think she said I, they weren't hers i could have sworn like in the first episode that she said that the crows planted something and she got arrested mm, i, I don't didn't think even so know i think she drugs. i think there was a thing she said before about being an ex-con, but she said that the drugs weren't mine. Okay. So there was that talk. And here we get the information that, okay, the drugs weren't hers that she got arrested for. They were Angelique's, but obviously she's not going to say who they belong to because then that's going to get her in trouble, and that's who she was trying to help. So she was taking her drugs to hopefully stop her from taking drugs. She took the drugs so that she couldn't take the drugs. So, that's how she did that. Crows that were acting awful, she flipped off. Yeah. And then they arrested her because they found the drugs on her. So, I don't know. This episode here showed some more bad crows. So, I mean, it definitely is a thing where it's like there needs to be some 
changes among the crows. Like I, oh, yeah, I, I believe sure. Sophie is good, but she had a point though talking about like you're just punching this guy, trying to get information out of him. I know. But Ryan was also planning on starving him. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I guess like one is, neither one's like necessarily great. You know what I mean? Like. Well, I don't think Ryan would let him die, though. Well, and, and she wasn't trying to let him die. I don't think the crows were trying, trying to let him die. I mean, anyone trying to let him die was him. Because he took the cyanide tablet. Yeah. Like, he didn't die from being punched. He didn't die from starvation. But both of those options are still, like, we're going to torture him in some way. Like, her thing was, like, I found out in the home or whatever that you listen a lot more when you're hungry. So let's starve him out for a day or two. And he's like, we don't have that time to wait. Like, she was going to let him not eat for a day or two, which... I think probably may have worked because then she would have released him. <laughs> sure. Like, but, I mean, if he's going to tell information, then he's not going to... I mean, most likely she would have handed him over to the police or something, I imagine. I don't know. I think it would have ended up with the same result. He would have fit just, the cyanide Once tea. he's talked and said something, or he wouldn't have said anything and would have been realizing he was getting desperate, and he would have taken the cyanide. Yeah. Or he would have gotten so hungry that he's like, I can't, I'm not going to do this anymore, I'm going to take the cyanide. Yeah, exactly. I think it, the end result would have been the same. I do too. I'm just wondering, like, is what she was saying the crows did really below what she was planning on doing herself? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think, would I rather be punched for information I have or starved out for the information I have? Where, like, I'm just hanging there for days rather than being punched for minutes. I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know I, what my choice would be. I don't know. Like punch me for minutes before I tell you what I what I need to tell you, or I'm going to hang here for days and starve and then tell you what I'm Or gonna just do. never be in that situation. Don't have the information that people need. You'd be fine. <laughs> I want I want information. Um, but the crow is, if, issue, more so than that even, was also them just hitting the guy with the car who wasn't shooting. Like, he, he didn't shoot anybody. He wasn't like a – he stole mm-hmm. something and was running – and the taser malfunctioned, so he just hit him with his car and then left him there and didn't call any medical or anything else. It, it wasn't like they tried to, like, hey, look, here's what happened. There wasn't even, like, a cover, like, you know, we, we tried to stop him with a car. He, we hit him. We need medical here now. Right. Take care of him. They just abandoned it. It was like, we'll just leave for someone, someone else. Someone else will clean it up, which is a good thing that Ryan found him, and then Ryan sure. took him, and otherwise he'd be arrested and... Sure. Other things. But we also had Luke bringing up his father again. Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was because I didn't feel like it was super the crows did it. I thought there was, like, infiltration in the crows that were doing dirty work, right? Wasn't that I the think idea? Because so. we had that one guy. Um, dang, what was his name? Because remember, uh, Luke went to kill him. Um, I feel like it started with a C. But, I mean, we've been dealing with the Corrupted Crows since last season, so it's nothing new. Sure, no. I mean, there's definitely been corruption within it. But, yeah, somewhere along the lines, I forget exactly where it was, but uh, it was just, I have, I have Lucius written down here somewhere. Where was it? I just saw Lucius. What episode? Reggie confessed to gunning down Lucius. Oh, and that's the guy that they framed. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um... Uncle Harvey, ADA, Duella Dent, Duella, wasn't Duella. No. I don't know. I don't remember who it was. I can't find it in my notes. I'm sure I have it in here somewhere, um, somewhere around this area. But no, just having, I don't know. It, it's just that line of like, honestly, it's very similar to like what was going on this past year and stuff too and what's been talked about a lot. It's just like there's the, the bad ones in the Crows, bad ones in the police, but the good ones need to try to step up and take care of it. But typically what happens is the good ones that try to step up and take care of it end up getting outed, and they get kicked out, and then the bad ones get left in. So it's really the ones who really need to do it are like Sophie and Jacob, who are at the top of the ladder. They need to set standards to being better and clearing out the people who are dirty, which may be easier said than done. There's also like the idea that this is a comic book show set in Gotham where there's corruption all over the place. Not to say that there's not corruption all over the place in the real world, but it seems more in, like, Gotham, you know what I mean? Garth, Gotham's a very dark place, it, so yes. It's like, <laughs> like I, I feel like corruption is expected in Gotham, maybe not Metropolis. You know what I mean? Like, 
Like, Gotham just feels like there should just be corruption everywhere. Everywhere. Metropolis will have, like, classy conspiracies. <laughs> yeah, so... But yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll get more of that. I'd, I'd, I feel like I'd like to see Jacob and Sophie and Ryan working together. Um, yeah. But, I mean, Batman also had to deal with some of that kind of stuff, too, with uh, corruption and police and whatnot, too. But then you had Gordon, who was good, and he was trying to clean things up. And you had Dent that came in, like, mm-hmm. in the uh, in the Nolan one, right? Like, he was coming in trying to clean things up and stuff, too. It's just a matter of the police need to also take responsibility and push it. The crows, the good ones. Like, that one guy who was like, what are you doing? He should have held him accountable. He should have stayed and not left, you know? He should have held accountability rather than just going with it. Yeah. At first, I thought he was with Sophia. Like, he was like, oh, I'm dirty. I don't care. I'll kill this guy. I'm going to take this. I got the, got the painting. Let's go. But then he was like, more says she wants a painting. Didn't care about this guy. You know? And it's like, oh, okay. But the other guy who's like, what are you doing? Like, that's the guy that should be holding the other guy accountable. I know. I know. And then you don't get people reporting it. And the fact that they did not report it made them both get fired, which is good. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. And Gotham... Like, you usually have, like, all the mafias and stuff yeah. paying people off. So it all is very... It's like Gordon in Gotham, right? But you... Like the TV show. Don't... Like, you have, like, a good cop guy, but there's lots of bad cops in there. Yeah. But you would not expect it out of the crows. I think that's Ryan's biggest thing is that, yes, the police... Yeah, there's corruption there, but they don't get paid crap. You guys are a private paid military with the resources to look into your people as to see who all is corrupt because you guys are getting paid bookies of dollars. <laughs> oh, it's not it's not just that though. It's that their choices. They they aren't a police force for everybody. They're a police force for the rich. Yes. Which is part of the issue there. So yeah. it's, it's they don't they're not just policing, which is weird too when you have like, like why were the crows stopping Ryan to check her for drugs and stuff, you know, because she flipped him off or whatever. Like I don't like if they're being paid for like higher end people what were they doing there patrolling the streets yeah yeah so it seems like a weird place unless they were not in uniform they were actually leaving the bar or something and wanted to throw this girl under the bus because she pissed them off no it wasn't that that wasn't but i mean talked about it i'm with you i don't understand like why they were there to make that arrest like what puts them out in the community what community are they actually there's definitely a few lines i'd like to have kind of drawn of what the crows do because it feels like sometimes they're there for just regular police business but then there's also like like especially last season it was mentioned like they are there for the rich right like whenever there was stuff going down they were making sure the rich side of stuff was fine but mm-hmm. then all the poor people were screwed you know like so I don't know which um, unfortunately in Gotham the rich are corrupt usually a lot right? of them it's what Bruce Wayne was there for he was just crazy um and then we have much more with the bullet wound going on at least now. I'm hoping that that's actually coming to a head maybe next episode because it's been going on for a while and it's one of those it's one of those secrets for the sake of secrets almost, <laughs> you know? Like, she's had it for so long, I feel like you could have just been like, hey, I got this bullet wound from that bullet that pierced the bat suit that I didn't die from, but it's green and shit. Like, it's not like it's just now green. It's been green. It's been green. I think she was hoping that it would go away on its own, but I mean, how many days has it been? I don't know exactly, yeah. Like, the timeline's been kind of weird. It feels like it has been a while. It's always hard to count because lots of times it's usually, like, it's a week between episodes. But sometimes they pick up right after and stuff, too, so it's hard to really get that Exactly, so has it only been three days? And I probably would let something fester for three days, you know? You would because you're dumb. Look at your arm. (laughs) Oh, wait, she's hiding it under the table because she broke it. I did not break it. Is it working properly? <laughs> Sounds like it's broken. What about you? If this pin was bent, it would be broken, but not broken. Is your bent. head broken? It, uh, yeah, I asked you to look at it because I hit it and you said it looked fine. <laughs> but I think there's a scab here from where ow, it hurts right there. Yeah, it's not a hole in your head. There's like a hole in my head. It's a hole in my no. head. The one, two. Um, but anyway, the bullet wound's bad. They need to fix it. Just tell Luke, quit, quit it. Just tell him, maybe he'll know something, or I don't know, some kind of anti kryptonite suction device. I don't, I don't know what they got. Wouldn't you know? it suck if like, 
lead. Like, you have to give her lead poisoning in order to get rid of this kryptonite. That would suck, yeah. <laughs> like, Here, eat this paint. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That would suck. You do not eat enough paint chips as a child. Eat this paint, live under these electric lines, you'll be fine. <laughs> Doctor approved. Um, should we look at what uh, Q&As. Q&As have maybe too? Yes. Do, I did like the line about like when crows fly together, there's a reason they call it a murder. I was like, ooh. I did. That was smooth. <clears throat> Guys, we're going to move on to our Q&As, which we do through Twitter. You can follow us at BlindWaveProd um, using the hashtag BatwomanQ&A. Submit questions and thoughts, concerns, and we will talk about those at the end of episodes. We also do it for most of our other live shows, so make sure you guys follow us over there. We'll notify you when we have new stuff coming up, like the new uh, Superman Lois show coming Ooh. out soon, and Flash and whatnot. Aiden says, why do you think Alice and Ocean got their memories erased? Uh, obviously they n- something happened and Arnold Schwarzenegger showed up and took care of it. You've been erased. <laughs> so I think Ocean called Sophia his sister, mm-hmm. but not really sister. Uh, like, maybe. Not blood. So I'm wondering if she got jealous like of what was, was developing between um, Alice and Ocean. Oh, got jealous? Okay. So I think it so might it be is a step jealousy. Siblings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the internet says. Um, what? Huh? No, it's a step sibling thing. I don't get it. Nothing. Don't worry. You're too innocent. Um, maybe it could be that. It also though could be that if they're trying to get like an assassin thing, or maybe they stumbled across some kind of information, or I don't know. Could be a number. <gasps> what if she had a baby? Who? And Sophia kept Alice's baby. And that's one of the reasons why Alice is cuckoo bananas. What is? Because Sophia has Alice's baby. But she doesn't know it. Why would she be cuckoo for something she doesn't know? Well, she doesn't know why she's cuckoo. She's just been cuckoo her whole life. It's like life. if you don't have Cocoa Puffs, you can't be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> and if you don't know about Cocoa Puffs, you can't You're just cuckoo. constantly cuckoo. <laughs> You're like, oh, I had Cocoa Puffs, but I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cuckoo. That's not how it works. I really don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I really thought it was going the crisis route, but it seems to really be a Sophia suppressing memories for some reason, and there definitely seems to be some kind of romantic relationship there. It seems to be. Mm-hmm. When she touched that bicep, she was like, oh, I remember. <laughs> you didn't want to touch my bicep? You didn't want to remember? <laughs> Tanner Fox says, "I can, well, I can definitely say I was not expecting a possible love interest for Alice this season. I, I was not either. Do you mm-hmm. think they have these memories due to the Beth doppelganger after from After Crisis? Um, like, could the... I don't know. Like, she talked about how she was younger when she was found. The other Beth wouldn't have been there. Well, unless, like I said before last week, Beth could have been there because she's been doing research no. on it. Because she's, bio- she's an outsider. Shoot. And she wouldn't even have been a good fighter. True. So then you're completely ruling out Beth, then. No. Just some other reasoning. What if it's another, another Beth? Right? True. I mean, if if infinite Earths come together. Yeah, they all came together. Remember, um, Brainiac, right? Brainy? Mm-hmm. Like, there were, like, four different brainies and stuff. And then there was also the witches. And, like, there's there's been a few things that have happened with crisis stuff going on. But yeah. maybe it's... I don't know. I really don't know. But I am interested in seeing what, like, love relationship kind of thing they do. I thought... I don't know. I don't know if I want some kind of possible redemption for Alice. But I'm not sure. Could she be changed to not want to kill Kate? And could there be like a semi-redemption arc to where when she finds Kate, she doesn't want to kill her anymore or something? Or she's just so mad at Sophia that she's the next hit and doesn't care about Kate. (laughs) Maybe. So. Uh, Lover Sashimi says, after seeing Wolf Spider, would you like to see him come back and maybe be a partner or an anti-hero for Batwoman? Yeah. Yes, for sure. I like the idea of the anti-hero kind of thing. I mean, Batman... And Batwoman kind of fall in like this scary heroy kind of thing, but they're like, 
I like the idea of having someone like Venom for Spider-Man, right? Like, it's someone who's bad that they have to fight sometimes, but also someone that they can kind of work with because they're not necessarily all bad. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, Batman kind of has, like, a dark side already. But mm-hmm. he's still, like, a hero. He's just usually bad to the bad guys. And scary to the bad guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I heard Chicken Little Soup says, How would you send away a person who is hitting on you, especially if that person still hits on you, even after you tell them you're married? Melanie just waits for someone to help her. <laughs> Don't you? Are those pajama pants? Oh, remember that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> help! <laughs> someone help! <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you don't have like a go away? You don't have anything to have there? No! Uh, our buddy Justin came up and was Dustin? Like, Dustin. <laughs> yeah, our good buddy. Your, yeah, we forgot his your name. Your buddy Dustin came up and was like, uh, back off, dude. I was like, thank you. That's been many years ago. I'm like, what are you talking about? Anyway, no. No, it doesn't happen, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, we don't go anywhere now for sure, so. Uh, Jose says, wasn't Tommy Elliot the one who had Lucius Fox killed so he can get his journal? If I remember, Tommy paid a crow to kill Luke's dad, but Luke should be more angry at Tommy than the crows. Um, I mean, should he? It's, it's the, it still has to do with the corruption in the crows, right? There was still a crow who was willing to take the money mm-hmm. and willing to go with what he did and then frame someone else and all that. So, uh, no, I don't know. I, I get what uh, Luke means. And I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, wait a minute, was it, the, was it the crows? I thought there was more to it than that. But while there was more to it than that, there was still corruption in the crows, which is kind of like what we saw here with the one guy being like, just kill him, it doesn't matter, someone else will clean it up. Yeah. So, even though that, like I thought at first, could have been Sophia, it's someone in the crows doing it and choosing to do it, which is something that needs to be filtered out, I guess is what they're talking about, so... Yes and no, Jose. Bubbles says, since the painter slash map is a forgery and Alice and Ocean have the real one, how would they find Kate if that was the only way? Or is working with Alice an option? Or is, or the painting isn't the map, but the but the frame is. Um, I think the painting is the map. Uh, there very well could be a possible working together, especially if Alice and Ocean don't have anyone to turn to. What could also happen is Ocean must have ties to Angelique. There could be a connection there where Ocean gets a hold of Angelique, who talks to Ryan or something, and thus now you've kind of re-looped everything back into each other. True. Because she was at that apartment where she had to gather the stuff and then deliver it to Ocean. So they're... Like, that's how they were all found together, so. I don't know. I think Angelique is a assassin for S- Sophia, and that's why she was at the apartment. And that letter that no. was in the apartment was Ocean's letter. No, it was to deliver it there. Like, he was already there. Like, I'm pretty sure it was to deliver it to Ocean. Not for Ocean to be like, oh, yeah, I got to take this over to the hotel. Because why was he at the hotel alone with none of the equipment? <laughs> I don't know. So I, I think there's a connection there, which if that's true, if Ocean can get a hold of Angelique, Angelique may get a hold of Ryan. Ryan then, now you're looped in with whatever else you need to be looped into. At least someone else finding Kate, which is what Luke and them are trying to do. Find Kate before Alice finds Kate. There you go. But, yeah. Okay. And then we have the relationship stuff with Ocean, and I don't know where they're going with that. Uh, Reginald says... So what do you guys think of my new TV husband, Evan? I think he adds a much needed spice and sass yes, and does. would be a great field partner for Batwoman. Do you think he will be a reoccurring character or just a one-off? Definitely reoccurring. I hope so. Like, you went back and rewound it to the blue light emoji of him rolling his eyes on the skyscraper yeah. of Gotham. Yeah. Like He's like he's <laughs> artistically rolling his eyes at Gotham, right? It's hilarious. I love his personality. Like that's not and a bad guy thing, you know. No. There's no sinister like that's like a prank. It's yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. I like him for that kind of stuff. Like I think that if he has this idea of like you know, like if he doesn't trust the crows either, I think it fits with Batwoman, mm-hmm. right? 
if he's looking at like not having to prove himself to someone but doing the things that he feels are important Mm -hmm. helping kate like that's not a bad guy thing he's trying to help someone who was like a best friend of his and helped him come out back when he was in high school you know yeah exactly. so like i don't necessarily feel like a super sinister thing with him Mm -mm. he is involved in some of the collective criminal world things um which could definitely put him in kind of an anti-hero kind of category where he might not be working to stop all those criminals but there may be some paths that cross where it's like oh you want to help kate i want to help kate let's help kate Mm -hmm. so i could definitely like he doesn't have to be like a they take him in and he becomes the robin to batwoman or something you know that's true i don't like that because we already saw him fight, and I love that fight style. It was yeah. so much fun to watch, just that choreography. But you there. could have him come in and be like, uh, Julia, is that her name, Pennyworth? Oh, yeah. Right? Like, she hasn't been in every episode, no. but she shows up and helps out when she can, and she had that MI6 secret agent kind of thing going on. Mm-hmm. But spe- like, especially in the first season, she was kind of there, and then gone, and then back, and then gone and back. And yeah. Then, like, you could have something like that. Yeah. Or just someone who's just kind of there to help out a little bit. And I like the fact that Evan already has a relationship established with Mary. Yeah. So he already knows most of the team anyway. Mm. So it's It could also fun. be kind of a live wire kind of situation like from Supergirl. Yeah. Right? Where like they kind of like cross paths and we're enemies and then they kind of cross paths and like work together a few times and that could be okay. All right, that looks like the last of the Q&As. Thank you guys for submitting some uh, thoughts, questions, and uh, make sure you guys, next week when you're watching Batwoman, submit some more. We watch these Monday morning, so it gives you a little bit of time to be able to watch and submit some thoughts. Poll. Um, All right, guys, poll for this week. What did you guys think of the wolf spider, and uh, would you like to see them back, and if so, how? Would you like to see them back in more of a partner kind of sense uh more as like an anti-hero kind of thing or uh would you maybe not want to see wolf spider back yeah i guess that's an option like i would say to put him kind of like a in a robin stance where it's like a partner like a sidekick okay putting them in like an anti-hero kind of venomy thing right for spider-man where like he shows up sometimes sometimes they're together sometimes they're not Mm -hmm. or like live wire from supergirl or not having wolf spider back and this was kind of like a one-off time of having I really hope it's not a one-off. <laughs> I can't think of any other options, so those are the three I really think of right offhand. So, um, I guess the I guess the other option is just back as a villain. You know. Oh, true. Like it doesn't have to actually be working together; it could be as an enemy. So we'll okay. put the four options there. Would you rather see them back as an enemy, a partner, kind of anti-hero in the middle there, or not back at all? Um, I think the anti-hero kind of aspect could work really well, and I think that'd be a cool way to bring back in this character and whatnot. Maybe not so much as a partner, um, but if you go the anti-hero route, you could have them back as a villainy character, um, but also as some help. I don't know. I can kind of see him as a partner because he was taking Batwoman on and was doing an incredible job, but she's also very wounded right now, and we've seen that throughout this episode, so maybe she might take take him under her wing and be like, hey... Let me teach you some things. Let's learn not to kill. Mm. And let's do this right. So then, because we both hate the crows. Especially sure. after what just happened to him. Sure. So. Need some allies since the crows are not who they're wanting to team up with. So, But will she partner with someone like Evan easily? I don't know. We'd have no. to see. Well, guys, that's going to be over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can find a link down in the description. Make sure to vote. Leave a comment there. We will talk about it beginning of next episode and see how things wrap up maybe with this bullet wound. Hopefully she finally tells Luke and we get it fixed. See you guys next week. Bye. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe because we have more Batwoman. We have the Superman and Lois show coming back soon. Flash. Um, And then before long, also Supergirl and uh, Legends of Tomorrow. So all those things we're going to be covering, make sure you go down in the description below for Patreon, for polls and commenting there, as well as Twitter so that you can submit some Q&As for all the live shows that are coming up. And we'll see you guys next week.